Okay, here we are back with part five. Um, I'm losing my voice, I'm getting over a cold. So, excuse me for that. Um, so here is, um, I'm gonna go over the little two inch lift I built for this thing. Um, so basically, it's got two inch taller shackles, um, as well as a two inch drop for the fixed end of the spring. Um, you can see these front brackets have a uh, provision for two wheelbase options. This is stock and this is forward one inch. Um, at first we tried to go with this spot, um, but with this one's particular steering setup, um, as the suspension came up, um, it would have ran into the end of the pitman arm if we'd push the axle forward. So in this in this car's case, it has to stay stock wheelbase. Um, but if you had high steer already or, you know, different options, um, sometimes that is usable. So two inches here, two inches here keeps all the angles um, stock. Um, if you go really cheap and buy a two inch lift shackle, it's gonna push this in down four inches to get two inches here, and it's gonna take away caster, um, which kind of takes away from your straight line stability. Um, caster is the angle of the kingpins. Normally they're tilted back, and on a samurai, I think they're around three and a half degrees off the top of my head. Um, that's three and a half degrees in my mind is about the minimum. Um, my race car samurai, I run at six. Um, it just helps it to go straight. Um, and not wander around so much or uh, um, be influenced by little things. Um, just helps it to go nice and straight. Um, so I don't, I don't like lift shackles by themselves because they take away that angle. Um, so the, the drop is equal on both sides so everything stays the same. And it also keeps your driveline angles um, more correct. And then the rear's got the same, basically the same thing. In the rear, you can get away with just a long shackle because you don't have steering angles to worry about. Um, but it can affect your driveline angles depending on you know a million other factors. But um, since this one's got fairly low total lift, um, I think this is the best route. So it keeps the uh, the driveline angle stock. You know the angle on that joint and the angle at the joint at the back of the transfer case. You want to be equal within two degrees of each other uh, to minimize driveline vibration. You know, with, with a lot of lift, sometimes you have to cheat that a little bit, but you know, when you can, you wanna keep those two angles the same. You know, let's say this has got six degrees on it now, you want that one to be six degrees, or you know, I have no idea what the angles are, I'm just throwing numbers out. Um, so that's the lift. Um, this is something uh, I'm gonna be offering soon. Um, Pretty good for, you know, say you have a daily driver or a moderate wheeler and you want to add just a little more lift and you don't want um, to do a spring over. You don't want to go that high or like in this one's case, these are the old man emu springs. I think they're about an inch and a half lift. So now it's got about three and a half inches of lift total and a nice soft ride um, compared to like a, a off the shelf three inch lift spring, which are really stiff. Um, He's going to be getting new shocks down the road. These now are a little short, so it limits the droop. Um, and they're pretty, they're pretty old, so they're, they need to be replaced anyway. Same thing in the front. The fronts, um, I'm not sure what shocks these are. They're some sort of just a longer, like, OE shock for a different vehicle. And they're actually really close. They're only limiting the, the droop like a half an inch. But he'll be replacing those down the road as well. Um, if you had the 2-inch lift by itself... Brake lines aren't required, but since it has the, the lift, you know, my two inch lift and these springs, um, the front hoses were getting pretty close. Um, so he opted to put um, new aftermarket longer brake lines on it. Um, so that's it um, for the lift. Oh, something we also did was a, was a dropped pitman arm. Again, because of the, the combination of the two lifts, 
um, that drag link angle was getting pretty ugly. Um, so it's sitting at full droop right now with the weight on the suspension. Um, that drag link is almost totally level, which is ideal for uh, street driving and uh, the elimination of bump steer. So that's that. Um, I'm working on I'm working on a whole series of parts for these things. Um, so I've got this little lift front. I've already got a front bumper up designed. Um, you can see it on one of my videos. Uh, there's a gray samurai. I did YJ Springs and a bunch of stuff. I built the front bumper um, and it's on that rig. Um, oh, just, a, I got about a half a dozen to a dozen different items um, I'm working on. And I'll, I'll have a video out when I get a website put together um, and kind of go through everything in more detail. Um, I picked up a Samurai a while back um, that's pretty beat up, but it's basically stock. And I'm going to basically revamp that whole thing with all the parts I build. So that'd be uh, another video series to, to watch for. Um, so anyway, that wraps up this video. Um, if you have any questions on that, on that lift, let me know. Um, once I get a little farther along, I'll have, uh, pricing and stuff like that figured out. Um, this is only the second or third one of these I've built for people. So I'm still kind of fine tuning the details on it. So that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. And, uh, I'll have one more video on this rig, um, covering the wiring of the lockers. I'm um, just about done with that. So watch out for that one. That'll be part six and the final part. All right, thank you.